Hey, it's Matt with Custom Car Grills. We're gonna try something a little different here. Uh, on these 2018 full replacement grills, we're gonna see if my wife can install one in a, in a timely manner with just some basic tools. On this grill here, we've already taken it off of the truck. Uh, to get it off of the truck, there's simply just a couple bolts here, uh, as well as some push rivets there, and the whole thing should lift right out with no problem. So now we're gonna see how to disassemble it, get out those factory components, and then we'll start working on getting the new grill in there. Flip over. Sure. Okay, so we gotta get these screws out here first. Okay, what kind of screwdriver is that? A Phillips head. Looks like I think we got think, none left. I think that was the last one. All right, cool. So what now? Where do we go from here? Um, now we probably would want to push these tabs out okay. on these. I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver. Give it a little push till it pops through. It looks like a couple of them might already be broken or I don't know what's going on there. Those are kind of weird. There we go, that one. Yeah, I guess depending on if you've removed your grill before. Right. It might already have some broken tabs, actually. See, like on this one, it's pretty easy because the, uh, it was a chrome bezel, but a black inside grill. So it was kind of easy for you to see what, uh, what need to be pushed out. Although, I guess now you're trying to push both of them. There, okay, there, there's the bezel. The bezel is the chrome part here on this one. I believe the chrome part has popped out. Okay. it all out at once. Not bad. That's how I roll. There's your innards. Okay. <laughs> um, probably set those off to the side. Probably don't need those anymore. Yeah, since we're getting rid of this boring grill. Mm-hmm. Let's check out the new grill that we got. So here is our new one. Okay. So just dropping it right in. Yep, it fits right in and it will come with the window already assembled. Okay, it's good to know. So we've got that. And what kind of hardware do we have? Get this nice little baggie here full of more baggies. 
Baggies inside of baggies, all right. Baggies of baggies. Hmm. All the different hardware pieces you'll need separated. Got screws, a couple different washers, some lock nuts, and also a wrench. Okay, looks like there's two kinds of washers there. Um, see if you can figure out which ones are which. I'm assuming the plastic ones would go on first or on the outside. Maybe. We shall see. Mm. So you want to make sure your holes are lined up. Um, I guess... I don't know if it would be easier to maybe lightly loosen each one on as you go. I don't know. It's for you to figure out and... I'll try and do maybe a couple of them here. Oh no. Casualty nut down. Starting from the, the middle here. Okay. Working my way out so there's no weird it's bubbling. Yeah, I suppose that could happen. Wish I could help you. Yeah. Just like to see me struggle. <laughs> Every day you're struggling, struggling. That is true. There's how many in total? There are ten, it appears. Okay. five foot nothing. I'm trying to see over something that's a really tall table. Mm. Okay. I think I just got a couple here on the side left to do.
Let's see where this tricky spot is here. It's a pretty tight spot right there. Oh, wow. So if you got big old sausage fingers. It might be kind of tough. Yeah, even my little baby sausage fingers. That's a tight spot. I think there's two more to go. The real challenge might be to actually find the right socket for this. Mm. Although I got a couple screwdrivers out for you, um, and I left you hanging on that socket. Oh, that was super kind of you. Yeah. So maybe before you put that last one on, might need to find the right socket, maybe. a bit of a stretch. This one's a doozy. Doesn't want to go on. Hmm. There it goes. Bolt too short? <laughs> no. No. Oh. Just can't get it threaded right. Okay. Cool. Um, well, I see that you took my advice about grabbing a socket to find that uh, yeah. nut size. So yeah, I totally grab now them. we're going to need to grab all the sockets. Let's go over uh, and. Uh, no, those are too big. Still too big. Top drawer is what you want. There we go. Okay. Potentially an extender. Yeah, sure. It's not going to hurt. There we go. You just bring them all if you don't know. I, off the top of my head, I'm not sure which one it is. But the one thing you definitely already have, we do have the wrench for the um, yes. for the bolts that come on on the grill. So yep. no need searching for that. Yep. And nice Torx head there. Okay. It's right in. And um, maybe I'll try a quarter inch. Okay, sounds reasonable. Let's start somewhere. Yeah. Let's see how close you are here. Too small. Okay. So quarter inch is no good. What's next up from there? Um, there's nine thirty seconds. I'll go to the eleven. Yeah. Seconds, I don't know of anyone that's ever used the nine thirty seconds. Surely that's not it. Sure. Oh, feels like a pretty good fit. All right. Which one was that? That is the eleven thirty second. Eleven thirty second. All right. What, what, what on earth are you hitting back here? <laughs> okay. So they're they're too long on the top, you think, and maybe just just the right side on the side, or right the right the right size on the side. Yeah, I'm guessing so. And you so you don't want to over tighten. Yeah, obviously. So, so you use your own discretion when installing. Yeah. All right, so Torx head, 
the Torx wrench and an 11 32nd, I think is what you said, with the socket. Yes. No banging around here on this center one, thank goodness. But you know me, I like to make noise. Yes. I know that all too well. How tight do you think you're getting it? Is it just a little bit past hand tight or? Um, it's kind of hard to describe, I guess. Yeah, I mean, gosh, I feel like I'm like going forever, but I mean, I mean, it's definitely tight. I don't feel any looseness from the front. And I okay. you don't want to like pushed in way too far to where it looks distorted. Yeah, we. So. I remember seeing some customer installs where they over tightened it and it looked like the metal was kind of dipping a little bit. I don't know how insanely tight over tightened that stuff was, but it was, uh, it was definitely overkill. Let's see if I can do this. Oh yeah, get it from that angle. Yes. Now we're not waking up the neighbors. Well, I hope no one's sleeping right now. It's like <laughs> four in the afternoon. I don't know that. Oh, they do now. Looks pretty good. Um, Maybe we'll try and do a couple here on, on the bottom. Sure. Whatever works for you. Work our way out. Since it's not attached to the truck. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get that level, isn't it? Maybe I'll do one of these guys. Okay, sure. I've never done that before, but that seems to actually work well, pretty good. Learn something new, huh? I guess so. Maybe you should do more of these videos. Teach me a lesson. Yeah, maybe I should. Okay, it seems pretty tight. Is it too tight? I don't see it caving in. Yeah, I think it looks. Yeah. Yeah, obviously from a, a straight on angle, you can kind of see there if it's gonna dip or not. Yeah. No dipping. Damn, you're speed wrenching that thing on there. I'm familiar with using the wrench. <laughs> okay. Since I will most likely be the person installing the windows on all of these. That's true, you've installed quite a few of them. But, that being said, this is still your first grill install. It is my first grill install. This is typically not something that I deal with. Looks pretty good to me. Um, so those side ones. Side ones you here. said those were kind of awkward by hand. I guess we'll see. Um, oh. Whoa! <laughs> Slow down there. Make sure we're hanging onto that. Okay. This doesn't look too bad now that you actually have the socket. Right. I guess once you get the socket on there. I remember seeing some of the first ones of these that came out where the the sides were touching a little too much, possibly over tightened, and in the winter time, the side of the grill would split. Oh. I'm 
pretty sure that we've shortened this up enough where that's not going to be an issue. Great shot in the background of a 2016 Tacoma that's behind a Veloster. It looks like we tried oh. making some sort of it's a hybrid. some sort of Frankenstein grill where we took a Tacoma and tried to put it in a Veloster. I, I promise that's not the case. It's making Franken vehicles over right. here. Okay, so now the grill itself is on there. It looks like it's pretty sturdy. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna let you figure out if, if it's actually on there or not. Yeah. Let me if I can yeah, pick it up by the grill. Yeah, it's no, it's, 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 it's on there. It's on there. Um, we actually need to do the TSS sensor though. We're not All putting right. this little window down at the bottom here for no reason. Um, there should be a hardware packet that we've got, and we also need to grab the sensor that's going to come with it as well. And actually we got a, a bracket right there. How convenient. Okay, brackets there. And then got a lovely installation hardware envelope. Okay, let's see what's inside there. More baggies of baggies. Oh, and there's another one. Man, there's like 10 bags of stuff in here. It's all necessary. Now, I kind of done diddly goofed up and I didn't have a sensor from the truck, but let's just get it mounted on there as if we actually did have the sensor. So since we don't actually have the sensor, this part is probably yeah the spacers the spacers <laughs> no good. I think that that would uh, normally it, the bolt sticks out a little bit there, and I think you have to space that out. Right, and I believe yeah with that. So these guys probably aren't really relevant. Yeah, the long right bolt now. and the spacer right now, since we don't have the sensor with us, mm -hmm. uh, I will link up on the top here real quick. I'll link uh, one to the video where I did have the sensor. So if you want to check that out as far as how the sensor gets bolted in there, we'll link that right now. I am assuming before we actually fully attach this, we probably need to line this up and we need to drill some holes for the bottom. Yes, yep. So the sensor attaches to the bracket, um, and then the bracket attaches both to the grill, the new grill, as well as the old one. Okay. So. Get that on there. Probably need like some sort of like a silver sharpie. Yeah, sure. Kind of yeah, yeah. Yep. Let's. I think we probably got one of those around here somewhere. Hopefully, it's actually not completely destroyed. Not that that's happened before. Okay, looks like this is on all the way. That it should be. So yep. we should be in the. Oh, oh great! <laughs> um, uh, just just roll with it. Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll see if it actually marks something. Right. Okay. Ooh, no, it's not gonna fall out. Yeah, that, <laughs> I still wanna bolt it in, but it borderline probably doesn't need to be. 
I don't, I don't think you messed up the threads. Should be all good there. Yeah, I can see where I made the marks as well. It's barely there. Now, conveniently, I also failed to get out a drill prior. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, um, you are completely, utterly useless. Pretty much, that. yeah. This is, I was just trying to make you rage. Yeah. Um, you did so, a good job on that. So we're going to need to get a drill. Yeah. This is probably where it would be helpful if it's actually attached to the truck. Probably with the other cordless stuff, looking looking right at it. <laughs> Got the nice Milwaukee cabinet here. Let's see. Drill, drill, drill. Is that the drill? Hmm. There's the screw. Okay. Are we going to need a battery? <laughs> Probably. Okay. <laughs> I'm just looking for the drill bits here. Okay. Supposed, All right. Again, I'm not used to using these. Tools. Okay. All right. But yes, we can grab a battery. I know that this is this is going to be the hard part right here. This is where I'm going to rage. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I'm not sure what size you need here. Oh. Yeah, it's, uh, I guess I, uh, I think I know which size we need. You're Some certain. really dirty ones here, so we'll right. kind of see what's going on. That one looks like it was used for drywall at some point. Yeah. It's a little small still. Okay. Let's try the next one. Again, it's a little small. Mm-hmm. Close. Okay. There's probably another well used bit coming up. Yeah, I'm assuming it's not that super jumbo one. No, it is not. It's probably this quarter one. I think quarter inch looks like it's the best fit. Which I should know because I think the bolts are a quarter inch bolt. So. Yeah, they're, they're quarter 20s. Yeah. I should know that. I'm mm. just not thinking. It's all good. It's a Saturday. All right. Um, so getting the drill bit into the drill here on this specific drill bit. You've probably seen me use it a million times. But do you remember how I got the drill bit in there? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think it just sticks right here. Yeah, it just... I mean, technically, maybe. I. I wouldn't eh. I wouldn't recommend that. No. No, not mm. really. There's It doesn't need doesn't need the speed. No. Idea. No. Is it something over here that I need? How do I normally change the bits? Like Hmm. I don't watch you change bits. Okay. Maybe something with pulling that out. There we go. Hopefully that kind of mm. got you started. So is it just Go directly yeah. in there. Yep. Okay. 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 So now we got some holes to drill. Yes. I'm not sure. I I said I wasn't gonna give you a hand. I'm but <laughs> that it has uh, to be held up. Yeah, I can so I can be a stand in here for just a second. Okay.
That's some really tough plastic, isn't it? Yeah, it kind of is. Huh. I actually double checked to make sure that that thing wasn't on reverse. <laughs> <laughs> You had, it, you had it right the first time there. Wow, that is substantially tougher than I expected. I could have swore on the one that we did for the 2018, um, which technically I used the 2016 shell for, but it wasn't this hard. some very tough plastic. Getting these ones up front might be kind of a funky angle. Yeah, I'm gonna try and kind of pull the lip down just okay. a little bit so I get a better straight on. Yeah, not bad. Not sure why. Just when you're getting the hang of it, only one left. All right, now that I've made a complete mess on the back of the <laughs> And of course, it's all static cling to the plexiglass window. Should have actually watched the installation video of this before we came out here. So nah. Just, who, who the hell watches instructions? I mean, everyone should be watching this video, but I mean, otherwise, who who, who reads instructions? Exactly. All right, that guy dropped right back in. It looks like all my holes line well, up. Yeah, lined up pretty damn good. So, win for me. And let's see here. So we've got. Room here, we got some. Oh, yeah, let's see what we got here. Okay, so some got, more washers. Got some metal washers there. And ooh, some more lock nuts. Fun fact about those, those are actually waxed lock nuts. Mm -hmm. I don't think or I lock, lock, yeah, nylon lock nuts. Because we're, we, we've already, you know, already installed the sensor um some of the hardware here would have been already used again links in the description for the one where we actually had the sensor sorry that we are without one today okay so we've got seven bolts washers and nuts yes um again i was thoughtful enough to not bring out any sort of socket or anything <laughs> I can figure right. that I don't think it was the same size. No. No. Bigger. So um, one actually feels pretty decent, a seven sixteenths. Yeah, sounds sounds legit. Well, we'll give that one a try when we get to that so since it's not on any painted surfaces and technically it is these brackets are powder coated for durability don't really need a washer push that guy through okay and we've got our metal washer and 
our waxed locking nut. And I guess repeat four more times. Maybe. I think it's I think it's a little bit off center, just a, a hair. Try doing the other side. The other side looks like it's lined up perfectly. A bit better than the other side. I don't think that you're gonna need a re-drill on that one side, but it's it's definitely off a little bit. Just need a little gentle persuasion mm -hmm. potentially. Or a sledgehammer, either one. Okay. Oh, other one went right in. Hmm. I mean I can see through the other hole. Carefully drill a little more of that out, potentially. Potentially. Let's see what we got here. Mm. I think you got it. Get the sledgehammer. Maybe try separating the plastic and the metal just a little bit. To, mm. That way you can kind of see what's going on. Damn, that is close. Yeah. Okay, let's let's get the drill. Actually, kind of do it proper. Would you advise to remove these other ones nah. to make sure? Nah. Just wing it? Just wing it. Okay, here goes nothing. Like a glove. Think we have any left i think i think there's, these normally just bolt on yeah there's one left okay so so we should have the socket um but Probably forgot to get the hex wrench for the front of like the sensor window. Feel free to, uh, oh, where do we have those at? I think over here. Probably the top drawer. Guessing the gray ones. Let's see.
Okay. So what size is that? That's a 4.5. Or no, it's a 4. Okay, so that's a 4. A straight 4. And also to clarify, the socket for these nuts were 7 sixteenths, I think, right? Um, what size socket do we have on there? Sockets are 7 sixteenths. So 7 sixteenths for the nuts uh, and 4 for the hex, hex key. key. Okay. Okay. So tighten these sensor ones on first. These are just little shorties. It takes like two seconds. Yeah, big difference on the other ones. We're down the home stretch here, I think. There's only four left to do. Oh, do we have a deep well of that? Like if you mm. look how long that socket is yeah. versus how long the bolt is. Um, so seven sixteenths do you have. Okay. Kind of looks like it's spinning, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I can myself here a little bit. Um, do you think it might be easier to do it with the, the bottom? Oh, yeah, like my fancy mm -hmm. little way that I was doing that yeah. I never thought of doing. Yeah, that I've already forgotten about doing. be honest I don't remember why we had those so long we could probably get away with uh, even a one inch or one and one and a quarter instead of one and a half there's probably a reason why we did that size I just couldn't tell you what that reason is right now the second well I'm just getting some arm exercise in for the day All right work those muscles
Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. You took the install of 2018. 20 million bolt challenge. And yeah, there's not 20 million bolts. There's like 15 or something. All we have to do is just reinstall it back on uh, the grill or the, the, the truck yeah. and should just bolt right on right back to how it was. And now we've got a brand new custom grill all set to go and TSS compatible nonetheless. Yeah. You took the, took the challenge and you won. High five. <laughs>